Hi everyone, Kellen Olsen, Arizona Sports Suns reporter here coming to you from a Suns win over the Spurs. Six in a row, seven and zero with Kevin Durant. More importantly, we have some clarification now and some clarity, that's the word I was looking for, on the Suns playoff positioning. They are the fourth seed in the West. Kings are locked in at three or two. We know the Nuggets are up there at one. I believe Memphis can't catch them at this point. But what we now know is that no other team can catch the Suns. There's this absolute mess below them in the standings. That includes the Lakers, who won tonight, the Warriors, who won tonight, and the Pelicans, who lost tonight. Also includes the Los Angeles Clippers, who play the Lakers tomorrow night. That is going to be a huge game. If you didn't see it, the Lakers nearly fumbled away a 10-point lead with under two minutes left. Went to overtime, pulled it out. Those guys are going to be on tired legs. We'll see how many of them wind up playing. Uh, in that big game against the Clippers, and that's one that's going to impact the Suns directly because it will, it might wind up determining who they play in the first round. We've still got those four matchups, and they vary in a bunch of different reasons. That's more what to take away from tonight, to be honest, across the league and in this building. Tonight, the Spurs were going to be heavy underdogs in this game, no matter who played, and they had a lot of guys out. Their two leading scorers, Kelvin Johnson, Devin Vassell, were both out, and they had a couple of other key players out as well. Suns were up as many as 31 points in the first half. It got Harry slightly in the third quarter. It's been a trend lately, which hasn't been so great. But then again, it's the last two weeks, as Michael Sarah once said. I'm not going to finish the quote there. And we've seen this from time to time. The Suns in the 2021 finals run. I don't think anyone remembers this, but they were bottom third in defense for the last 20, 25 games of the year. People were worried about it. And then we saw them be the best defensive team in the West, and that got them through the West. So nothing to worry about. I think everyone looked good. Chris Paul was great. Devin Booker was great. Torrey Craig was great. Off the bench, too. Everyone looked good. Three games and three and a half days now for the Suns. We'll see what they do in terms of legs, who plays. It seems like Monty Williams wants to get his guys out there to build continuity, which is a good idea, in my opinion. We'll see if they follow through with it in, in all three of those games, maybe two of them. We'll have to wait and see. We'll report to you back then. Goodbye.